Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about NAND gate SR latch. NAND gate SR latch is quite opposite with the NOR gate SR latch. In the previous video, we have seen NOR gate SR latch where it works as active high SR latch. But this NAND gate SR latch is basically an active low SR latch. Active low SR latch. That means whatever the output conditions we have obtained in the case of active high SR latch like NAND gate SR latch, all the cases will be reversed now. Okay, that means generally when S is equal to 0, R is equal to 0, when S is equal to 0, R is equal to 0, the output condition in that active high SR latch was no change. But here it is an indeterminate state, an indeterminate state. Okay, you need to observe these differences. Okay, in NAND gate SR latch, it is active low SR latch. Active low SR latch will give you all the output values which are in the reverse operations. Okay, that means uh, S bar, R bar latch. We can also say this latch as S bar, R bar latch. S bar, R bar latch. We can say this will be S bar, R bar latch. S bar, R bar latch because all the cases are in the reverse order but this indeterminate state we have obtained in the case of nor gate sr latch for s equal to 1 r equal to 1 case that's why it is s bar r bar latch we can call it as in this case and when s is equal to 0 r is equal to 1 s is equal to 0 r is equal to 1 the output will be set s is equal to 0 r equal to 1 the output the output is actually there we have got it for reset because r is equal to 1 means output should be reset to 0 output should be reset to 0 but here the output is set output is set to 1 Okay, that means S bar is 1, R bar is 0. That's why output is set to 1. When S is equal to 1, R is equal to 0, the output is output is reset. Output is reset to 0. See this output. S bar means 0, R bar means 1 r bar means 1 that's why it is reset to 0 all the cases are just complement to the previous case and similarly when s is equal to 0 r is equal to, sorry s is equal to 1 s is equal to 1 r equal to 1 the output is no change I think that whatever the previous state output is there, the same output will be continued. That means S is equal to 0, R equal to 0 case. Here we have got it for the S equal to 1, R equal to 1. Okay. All the cases are, all the cases are complemented. All the cases just reversed from top to bottom. Okay. In truth table, we have just reversed in the top to bottom. That's why this NAND gate SR latch is an active low SR latch. Active low SR latch. Okay, or we can also say it is an S bar, R bar latch. Now let us see the logic diagram or a cross coupled diagram of the NAND gate SR latch. So we have two NAND gates, NAND gate 1 and NAND gate 2. The input here for the first gate is yes and here 
one of the inputs for the second gate is R set and reset and one more input for the first gate is the output of second gate which is nothing but a cross connection and here it is the second gate input is the output of first gate here it is Q and here it is Q bar if you clearly observe the NOR gate and NAND gate logic diagrams in a NOR gate latch there we have taken R here in the first case we have taken R for the first NOR gate we have connected a reset input and for the second gate NOR gate we have connected set input but in the NAR in the NAND gate logic which is an active low logic we have connected S in the first gate and R for the second gate these references you need to identify why i am saying differences means so you may have a confusion when you are going for the examinations okay so definitely you should understand these differences in an R latch first we have to connect r and then s in an and latch first we are connecting s and r and this is an active low active low latch there in an or latch that was an active high latch okay so now we need to see the truth table s yes, r and we are taking the previous state qn next state qn plus one and then we will be having the output state what is the status of the latch or flip-flop okay so we are taking along with these two inputs we are taking the past output as also one of the inputs because past output is acting as the input for the NAND gates so 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 <coughs> 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 okay so when s equal to 0 r is equal to 0 i am separating one set and another set 1 0 as other set and 1 1 as other set okay see s is equal to 0 r equal to 0 it gives two cases but one time we are taking the previous input as 0 previous output as 0 and another time we are taking the previous output as 1 and again s equal to 0 r equal to 1 one time we are taking for the previous input 0 previous output 0 and another another time we are taking the previous output 1 and similarly the remaining two cases also now before going into the operation of this particular SR and NAND latch, you should know what is the NAND gate output. Okay, if you take a NAND operation, A, B with two inputs, like uh, Y is the output 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So, 0, 0, 1, 1 means 1 in the normal AND gate, but here it is 0 and in many cases it is 1. Okay, this is the truth table of NAND gate. Now we need to apply this truth table onto this NAND latch to get the outputs of the next state. Okay, so see here in the first case, in the first case, I'm taking with red color. See, S is equal to 0, R equal to 0. Connect S is equal to 0, R is equal to 0 s equal to 0 r equal to 0 and we are taking the past output as 0 so past output as 0 means this is 0 and what about this one q bar means 1 so take 1 here 0 1 0 1 what is the NAND gate output 0 1 1 output is 1 this one is connected here so 1 0 what is the output 1 0 output is 1 see clearly both the outputs are logic high both the outputs are logic high so both the outputs are logic high should not be occurred should not be occurred because one is complement to other if one is zero other one should be one if one is one other one should be zero okay but we have got both the outputs as high so we are taking the qn is equal to one so qn what is the output of qn here q whatever the q got that should be mentioned here so this is one that means the output is an indeterminate state 
the output is an indeterminate state both the outputs are ones so simply that is represented as a cross mark that is represented as a cross mark because output is an indeterminate state indeterminate state okay if you want you can go with the second case also 0 0 again take 0 0 and qn is 1 if qn is 1 here it is 0 so 0 means 0 0 0 what is the 0 0 output 1 again 1 is coming here 1 0 output is 1 same case you will get both the answers as indeterminate state in, in in indeterminate state we will represent the output as cross because you cannot say it is 0 completely because if you write 0 here if you write a qn, qn plus 1 as 0 that means it shows qn plus 1 bar as 1 that's why you should not represent as 1 here okay and coming to the second case Coming to the second case, when s is equal to 0, r equal to 1, when s is equal to 0 and r is equal to 1 and what about the previous state, previous state let us assume 0, so it is 0 means it is 1, so it is 1, 0 1, output is 1 and 1 1 see this one comes here and 1 1 will give you output 0 this is okay one input is 1 another input is 0 this is complemented action so this is fine now output is 1 in this case also you will get output 1 if you want you can check say output is 1 what do you mean by output is equal to 1 what happens here as r is equal to 1 resetting operation is performing right actually reset operation has to be performed but it is a complemented gate uh, S bar R bar of actions are going to be performed so setting operation is done that's why output is set to 1 so it is set output set to logic high and similarly 1 0 we are taking 1 0 here so S is equal to 1 ok S equal to 1 R equal to 0 assume previous state something like 1 now it is 1 means it is 0 so 0 1 0 output is 1 0 sorry here the first state is s equal to 1 r equal to 0 if i have assumed it is 1 okay so 1 means here it is 1 0 what is the 1 0 output 1 0 output is 1 one zero output is one so this one comes to this here this one comes here and one one means output is zero okay so first we need to start from reset here the output is zero here also zero so it is reset operation is done reset is nothing but output goes to zero logically logic zero and similarly one 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 will give you the same previous state whatever the previous state we have zero when it is one output is one this is no change output no change okay so NAND gate NAND gate operations will give you the complemented forms of the previous inputs uh, previous SR nor latch therefore the sr latch with nand gates works quite opposite with nor gate SR latch and the simplified truth table for NAND remember this is for NAND gate SR latch NAND gate SR latch or we can also say 
s bar r bar latch is s r output q n plus 1 0 0 0 1 1 1 sorry 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 here it is no change and here it is reset here it is set here the output is indeterminate state and we can write it as cross mark indeterminate state right indeterminate state so indeterminate state is represented as cross and here it is set means zero no, sorry set means here we will get one we will get one here reset means we will get zero and no change means previous state qn this is the simplified sr nand latch truth table Okay, thank you.